Seven. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Dang it, just hasty stroke. So I'll get another one. And I'm going to increase each of my resources. Alright. Here we go. So now I know what I'm going to do with Denethor. I'm going to spend his resources and pull out this Markwood Runner. Now, I really, really like the Markwood Runner card simply because if he attacks something alone, he ignores their armor. So I'm gonna put him out here. And let's see, do I want to do anything else with, I don't think so, I think, um, I think I'm going to hang on to these because I can cancel a Wonder of Hill and I can cancel a Shadow Effect. Okay, so that's it for now. Oh, I know it's a Swamp coming too. Hmm. Might discard one of these cards. We're going to quest, and we're going to quest, actually, yeah, we're just going to quest, hmm, we know it's not a treachery, so we can quest with her, so that would be five. Six and they've got eight, so my threat goes up by two. We definitely don't like our threat going up like that. So that's the encounter phase, and nobody's going to attack me, but I am going to choose to encounter the black Uryx. Uryx? Man, I don't know how we say any of this. <laughs> So you guys can just laugh when I mispronounce stuff, but so we're going to encounter that. So it's going to attack and I'm going to use Denethor to block. So let's reveal the shadow card. Okay, good. So it's just a ward layer, no shadow effects. And so it's three damage is blocked by Denethor's armor. And now my Mirkwood Runner is going to attack in response. And it ignores its armor since it's attacking alone. So it does two damage and it kills this orc, which is good. Oh, and what I forgot to do was the travel phase, which I meant to travel to this swamp. So sorry about that. We're going to do that kind of backwards there. And that, with that, um, I don't think we want to do anything else. So we're going to stop there. All right. So let's refresh. Okay. That was a two. Let's refresh. Move our threat up by one. Now it's at 30, which means that that mountain lord is going to be attacking. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. Ooh, burning brand. That's nice. One. Let's go up to three. And three. I don't even have 
have enough for any. I don't have any of my songs out. So that's a bad thing. We don't know what's coming. Let's go ahead and put out the Marth. So he goes out here. So let's go ahead and quest and hope we're going to quest with both of those. So we got five questing right now. Okay, so we got Knees of the Mountain and it is two threat. Oh man, that's bad though. When it's in the staging area, an enemy when they attack, they get a plus one attack. Oh, that's terrible. Until the end of the round. Oh, boo. Man, that is... Yeah, that figures. Um... You know what? I might, yeah, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So, I'm gonna use my action phase right here to go ahead and play this stand and fight. So what that's going to do is I'm going to pay three here and two here because guess who's coming out to help us from our discard pile. It is going to be Gandalf. And so he's going to enter in the round. Unfortunately, he can't commit to the quest, but what he can do is deal four damage to an enemy in play, which is this guy. This is a, ignores their armor. It's just four damage and kills that creature. So that reduces that down. And uh, I've got enough questing experience. Uh, so one progress token because this says no more than one can go on it each turn. So one progress token goes on the quest, the swamp, and that is it for the quest phase. So then after the quest phase, I'm going to take a look at what's on top. When it's a striking tentacle, I'm going to go ahead and put that at the bottom and hope there's not something worse as the next card. Fortunately, I can't do anything momentarily with Gandalf. But you know what? That's okay. There's nothing for him to attack, nothing to do. Um, so that is going to be the end of a round. So I'm going to untap. Untap. He's going to go here. And back into the graveyard. I'm going to increase my threat by 31. Draw a card. Oh, hey. That's a familiar face. We're going to get a resource. At each of these, unfortunately, I'm really low on resources right now. Hmm. Okay. Um, so let's start out. I don't really have anything good to play this turn. So let's just go ahead and quest. We're going to quest with Eowyn and this guy. And let's see what we get. Oh, ill purpose. 
When revealed, all enemies in the staging area engage the player with the highest threat. Then each player raises his threat by the total threat of all cards in the staging area. Well, you know what? I am going to go ahead and respawn and exhaust uh, Eleanor and go ahead and discard that that and replace it with the next card. Oh, boo. A thrashing tentacle. Okay. Oh, that's all right. So there's now four. I've got enough questing experience that this so that I end that last one. So for one, and that's all I have. Okay, so now in the travel phase, I'm gonna go ahead and travel to the knees of the mountain. And the encounter phase means that this thrashing tentacle is going to come down. So now, fortunately, Knees of the Mountain was no longer in the staging area. I had traveled to it. So it doesn't get the plus one attack till the end of the turn. But this Thrashing Tentacle is going to attack. And it has a forced action that when Thrashing Tentacle is attacked, so when I attack it, discard the top card of the encounter deck. And if that card has a shadow effect or is a tentacle, deal the damage from the attack to one character and attacking player controls. Ooh, ignoring defense. So that's not good. All right, so uh, Denethor is going to block this attack. Let's see what shadow. Ooh, shadow attacking enemy gets a plus one. Plus two if Mountain is the active location. Oh, we can't do that. If that happens, Denethor will die. So what we're going to have to do here is Hasty Stroke, which says cancel a shadow effect just triggered. So I'm gonna pay for that right here. So we're gonna do that. That cancels that. So it's just three damage, which is blocked. By Denethor's defense. Now I'm going to attack with my Markwood Runner, which is going to trigger that. So let's see, discard this. Okay, and it does have a shadow effect, but it's not a tentacle. Tell the damage from the attack to one of the to one character in attacking play. Oh crud, that means that means this two damage goes to one of my own characters. Oh let's put it on Eleanor. Oh guys, I'm not seeing any hope here. But let's continue. I don't have anything else to do, so we're going to untap, 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 untap that, move to 32, and I'm sorry, I mean, unexhaust or whatever you call it. Rivendell Minstrel. Well, that would be nice to go ahead and get one of the songs out, but it's going to have to wait a whole turn. And unfortunately, things are not looking too great here for me. Two, two, and two. You know, we could. Yeah, we could call upon the kindness of a wizard. Let's do that. So we're going to call Gandalf into play. It's two, two, and one. Gandalf's going to come in. He's going to destroy 
thrashing tentacles because he just deals damage to it. And then we're going to quest. Four, one, and four. Let's see here. A grasping tentacle. So that's two threat. So we've got eight, nine, so that leaves us with seven. So three goes here and completes the knees of the mountain. And four goes on into our quest. And we're at eight now, and we only need 13. All right. So now it's the encounter phase. And this tentacle is going to come at us. And so let's go into combat. Denethor is going to... Let's see, what is this forced? When it's attacked, discard the top. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. So uh, Denethor reduces the damage. Oh, wait, we've got to draw a shadow card. Go. If this attack is undefended, deal two damage to additional shadow cards to the attacking enemy. Fortunately, it is defended, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but the three damage is blocked by the defense. And now we're going to attack, and we're going to actually attack with both Eleanor and the Markwood. Now let's discard the top. Is it? Oh man, it is a tentacle, guys. So that means if the discarded card is a tentacle, attach this card to an attacking character as a tentacle attachment. And the text. Okay, well that's not good. I don't know if I have anything in this deck to remove attachments. So attach this card to an attacking character as a tentacle. Um, I'm going to attach it to Eleanor. So now Eleanor is grass, so her attack and defense are reduced to zero, but I haven't been using her to attack or defend. So it might be okay, but we'll see. All right, and with that, we've done everything. So we're going to untap or unexhaust. My bad, I gotta remember my terminology. We're going to move our threat up to by one. We're gonna draw a card. Uh, Gandalf, okay, I'm not gonna complain about that. I was really hoping for a song, but alas, it seems like my people are not ready to sing this round. And with that, we're probably going to call it an evening. We're going to pause here and continue later. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Let me know what you think in the comments.